Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your auger assembly, which includes the motor, bushing, and auger inside of your pellet grill. I'm going to show you on a DLX, but this is applicable to other pellet grills as well. Make sure that before we get started that your pellet grill is unplugged and has had time to cool down. Let's get into it. To start this process, we need to undo the four screws on the bottom of the hopper to remove the plate so that we can disconnect the controller and also undo the ground wire. We have these two screws here on the front and the two screws on the back and then two screws on the inside of the hopper that we need to undo. To remove this entire assembly all in one piece, you just have to undo the screw by going up through it. Pro tip for you is if you have a magnet tip screwdriver or a long magnet, that'll make this step easier for you. So once you undo the screw from the bushing, you can now take the entire auger assembly out. To get the auger motor off of the um, auger assembly, we just need to undo the shear pin right here. Once your shear pin is out and your motor is off, you can now access and replace any of the three components that make up your auger. And then to reinstall it, just complete these steps, but in reverse order. When you're putting your auger back in, you wanna make sure that your bushing hole is pointed down and that the fan is on the right side of the motor. Make sure you reinstall the screw into the green ground wire and connect all of the connectors back into the controller. And then you can put the bottom plate back on the hopper. I hope this video was helpful in replacing your auger assembly. If you have any additional questions, please visit campchef.com or call our customer support helpline. Thank you.